Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today, we are talking about everything's eventual. Yeah. Okay, uh, this collection, uh, I'll laugh, you, you'll understand why I laugh here in a minute. This collection came out right in the mil middle of the trilogy of trash, uh, let's see here, from a Buick 8, Dreamcatcher, not in this order, but and Cell. It came out right in the middle of all that around the time at, after his accident. Uh, if I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm correct as far as that's concerned. I know it wasn't. Yeah, it was 2002. I think Cell was 2003. So in order, it'd be Dreamcatcher, Cell. I think everything's eventual. No, let's see here. Dreamcatcher from a Buick 8. Everything's eventual in Cell. I think that's off the top of the dome. Um, anyways. This isn't the case, but it feels like King was trying to get all of the bad ideas out of his head. Um, I know many of these were older stories, but I think there was a reason why. I mean, even in the beginning, he tells you, you know, he, there was real no, really no theme or set, uh, let's see here, the set way the stories were going to be placed. He literally just, it, well, let me read it to you. What I did was take all the spades out of the deck of cards plus a joker, ace to king uh, equals 1 through 13, joker equals 14. I shuffled the cards and dealt them. The order in which they came out of the deck became the order of the stories. I'm not going to read the whole bit, but um, to me, this collection is him wrapping up all the stuff that he probably was never going to use again, stuff that popped up in Playboy stuff that he didn't really care all that much about. There is one pretty good story in here, and that's the man in the black suit. I believe he won an award for it. I can't remember which one. But awards for people like King are odd. Uh, he, People of King's stature get awarded for odd things later in life because award ceremonies are trying to make up for all the times they slept on him in the past. Okay, I want to talk about two stories, before I get into the Dark Tower connections, I want to talk about two stories that I enjoyed in, the, probably the only two stories that I enjoyed in here. Um, now if you read my reviews, someone mentioned this a while ago, uh, if you read my Stephen King written reviews, a lot of that contradicts what I'm saying now. That's because I've changed as a person. I've either grown or some would say taken a step back in my thought process. Uh, some books or stories that I loved back then, I don't care for anymore. So if you see discrepancies in that, that's just because I reread these things all the time and I don't go and update my reviews. Um, usually, the only time I update a review is when the my point of view has changed so drastically that I just can no longer stomach that old review. So, going through this collection this time, I, the only two stories that I cared to read were 1408 and uh, Autopsy Room 4, I believe it's called. Yeah, Autopsy Room 4. I like both of those stories. I like both of those stories all the time. Uh, but Little Sisters of Aluria has never captured uh, my... I don't know, my attention, it's such a difficult read for me. I go through it, I try my best um, to enjoy it for what it is, and it just doesn't fit. It doesn't even, for me, it doesn't even fit in with the Dark Tower universe. And that's because of the way the Dark Tower ends, the final book. Um, if you, I don't want to spoil too much, but that, because I know for a fact that one of you out there, <coughs> Sarah, cough, cough, um... One of you watched these episodes without reading it, so I don't want to spoil that for you. But the story makes no sense if you've read the actual series to completion. So if you go, if you read the entire the entire series and then go back and read the uh, Little Sisters of Illyria, doesn't make any sense. Um, we can go into more detail in that with that uh, maybe in the Dark Tower, the very final episode of this series, we will talk about how the Little Sisters of Illyria doesn't tie into the world as King wrote it, not even as another turn of the wheel. We'll discuss that though. Um, so how does it tie in? Of course, of course this book has Little Sisters of Illyria, which I just discussed, which is a Dark Tower story. But there is one other one I want to discuss, and maybe I've left some out just for you to find. So, in 1408, they talk about the Dolphin Hotel. The Dolphin Hotel is down, is down the street, I think it's 67th, 61st, I don't know, my brain's trying. 60, I think it's 67th, 
Now I'm thinking it's 61st Street. Um, it's right down the street from the Dixie Pig. The Dixie Pig is in Song of Susanna. Um, once again, I'm not going to say what happens there, uh, but the Dixie Pig plays a huge role in the sixth Dark Tower book. So those are my connections. If you have any more connections to any of these stories, I would love to hear about them down there in the comments below. Now, um, do you guys like this collection? Um, I like dissenting opinions as long as you're not rude about it. Uh, I like... I like to see what other people see in certain stories and what uh, what different, I mean, it's just different points of view. I get a kick out of that, seeing how some of my, how, what I feel are his worst stories are some of your guys' favorite stories and vice versa. Stories I love, I cherish, and I can't find anything wrong with. You guys pop up and go, hey, here's some problems. And I gotta say, you know, you, most of the time you're right. Because... When when you have a uh, when you're a fan, I'm just going to say it. If you're a fanboy, you ignore a lot of bullshit just because you are a fan of a certain individual or a certain group of individuals. You ignore a lot of bullshit. I try to be unbiased, but I just can't. I love Stephen King, and I, yeah, sure, I rage on the trilogy of trash, and I rage. You know, I talk, well didn't rage, but I talk bad about this collection. But I'm sure there are some of you out there who feel that this collection is his best collection, and I'd love to hear from you. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Stephen King Theorist review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!